so let's now look on some other parts. Um, let's bring up part 5 and part 6. You can see that compared to the other parts, they now have a, a curved floor, so it's not a straight floor. So in fact there the surface is now um, curved and bended at the same time. What I do is I continue um, with these operations here. For example, let's take a look at this one here. Yeah, we can take part four and uh, copy. copy this operation. Let's call it part five. And then we simply replace the surfaces again. So we select this as the floor surface. This is the wall surface. And we're going to exchange the stock as well. So this is the stock. Okay. Okay. And let's calculate this. I will copy this operation. I will do the same for the next part. Part number six. So this is my floor. Those are the walls. And the stock surfaces I have here. Simply select them. Okay, okay. Now, in order to simulate it, I will just select both of these parts as stock definition. So I come to my uh, stock definition for the simulation and select uh, the two stock models. Okay, now bring up the parts again and uh, let's see how the two parts look like when the calculation is finished. Okay, the two paths have been calculated and let's hide the two paths itself and activate the cutting simulation and let's hide the parts and then we will have a look um, at those two toolpaths here. So this is the first toolpath. And this is the second toolpath and this is the result. It's actually what we expected to see.